Shirley is thinking of a number. 25% of the number is equal to 210. What does this mean? 110. Oh, 110. So, what does this statement mean? Is man, It means 25% of 110. Number equals to 110. So, since 25% of a number equals to 110, do you think that this number is it bigger than 110 or lesser than 110? <coughs> Who thinks that it's lesser? Put up your hand. Who thinks that the number is lesser than 110? So all of you agree that it's a bigger number, right? The answer, final answer is bigger. So I don't expect to see uh, things like values like 80 or 70. Okay, because it must be a value that is bigger. So, I know that 25%. It's actually 110. Now, to get 100%, okay, of course, this is very straightforward. We can just do 100%, right? Don't even need to do 1% uh, here. 100% is how many times of 25%, uh, Aisha? Four times. 100% is four times, right? Yeah. So, what should I do to 110, Kaden? Times 4, multiply by 4. So 110 one, multiply by 4 equals to 440. Now, before I move on to the next question, question 6, let me ask you a question. Okay, I have this number, there's 110. I have a number, 110. And I do a 100% of this number. Okay, I've got a number that's 110. And I do a 100% of this number. 100% of 110. Okay. What is my answer, Jack? I've got a number, 110. I will do a hundred percent of this number. So what is my answer? Come on, give him a chance. He can't wait to answer. Which is equals to hundred and ten. Do you understand what is happening or not? Hundred percent of any number will give you the same number, yes or no? Okay, because you must understand percentage, not just solving, finding that 1% and finding that 100%. Okay, you must understand percentage. What does it mean? Okay, so when I say 100% of the number means I'll get back the same number. If I say 200% of 110, what will I get, Charlotte? 220, right? When I say 200% of a certain number, that means I'm looking at two times of a certain number, right or wrong? Okay? Just like when I have 50% of a certain number, let's say I say 50% of 110, what do I get? 55. 55. Because 50% is half of 100%, right? Okay. If I have 1,000% of 110, 1,000% of 110. Jing Kai, what's my answer? 1,100. Because 1,000% is actually 10 times, right? Can you see a relationship or not? Okay. Now let's look at my next question. Alex has three pens in his pencil case, right? Have you ever wondered, uh, why is it, is it called pencil case? Why don't they call it a pen case? Yeah. 
Did you mean you never uh, asked this question ever? I think I know because I thought before people created the pencil creator and they wanted a case for the pencil. And have you asked yourself? Have you ever uh, asked yourself? Is the pencil created first or the pen is created first? How you all know pencil is created first? Huh? What what makes you think that pencil is created first? Make sure maybe you all should do a research project on this, okay? Which stationery is created first? Is it the pen, the eraser, or the pencil? Is the pen? Is it? So you mean in caveman age, right? During caveman ages, stone age, they use a pen to draw on the wall. I don't know. Hmm? If I know the answer, I would have asked you already, right? I wouldn't have asked you, right? Of course, I wouldn't. I don't know the answer. Okay. It's called a pencil case. Let me explain to you why. Okay, if you want to know the reason, wrong. It's only meant to contain pencil and nothing else. Okay, that's why a spectacle case is only meant for spectacles. But something went wrong half. What? Something went wrong along the way. That's why some people this this to put some pens inside. Yeah, it should be sort of a stationary case. Okay, now let's continue. Alex has three pens in his pencil case. This is 25% of the number of pens that he has. So that means these three pens, right, is actually 25% of the pens that he has. How many pens does Alex have altogether? Again, presentation very important. Although you know it's, it's very straightforward answer. 25% is actually do not write equal. Okay. We just do a hundred percent and we know it's actually Okay. Honestly, beyond everyone heard it. Okay, next, look at the next question. We haven't reached the real questions that will appear in the exam, okay? All these are the simple ones. Yeah, all these are most like those uh, one mark question during exam. Okay, all these will not appear in paper too. The questions I have said is much tougher than this. Okay, I already said finish the paper. It's a very good paper. It will be hard. Okay. Right. It will be very hard. Okay. Okay. Question. Question seven. Okay, can I continue? On a particular day, fifty-five percent of the visitors to the school were ch uh, the, to the zoo were children, and the rest were adults. So. If you know that 55% of the visitors to the zoo were children, what percentage were adults? Colin Chi. So 45% were adults, right? So you must be able to read, uh, come out with this conclusion immediately. There were 165 children. How many visitors were there at the zoo that day? So you know that 55% is your 165 children, right? <coughs> you want to know how many visitors were there at the zoo that day? First, you can find a 1%, which is 165 over 55. Although I know the answer is 3. Okay? I mean, mentally, I already done the uh, calculation. I know it's 3. But for simplicity sake, we just write 165 over 55. Okay? You can write 3 as the... But you, you, it's wasting time. Uh, you need to write, write 165 divided by 55, then it goes to 3. 
So just leave it as a fraction, it's fine. Because that's not a final answer, okay? So just write as 165 over 55. Can. Okay, so we want to find 100%. So it's 165 over 55 multiplied by 100. 300. We know that we have 300 <coughs> visitors. And we know that this zoo is going to close down. <laughs> A zoo that has 300 visitors, it must be ready to close. I can tell you the Singapore Zoo, I think they see at least 30,000 a day. Oh, 3,000, uh, I think more than 3,000. There's a lot of people who went there previously. Yeah, I think they see at least 10,000, maybe. Yeah. Okay, now let's look at uh, question 8. 36% of the members in the gym are females. Alright? So, how many percent are males? Call in out. 64% are male. There are 252 female gym members. So, we know that. How many percent equals to 252? 36%. So, we know that 36% is 252. 1% is 252 over 36. So we find 100% again. 252 over 36 multiplied by 100. Can someone please tell me the answer? 700. Uh, presentation, please. Uh, I want to see it this way. Uh. Daryl, do you hear what I say or not? Yeah, I know, I know. Presentation. And I also want to tell you a second thing is that you play with your wallet some more. I'm going to throw it into a bin. Keep it. Now. Keep. Okay, let's look at the uh, next question. Percentage change. Okay, a library had 570 books when it first opened. Of course, when it first opened, 570 books. A year later, the number of books increased by 30%. So, that means when it first opened, right? The 570 books is considered 100% of the books, yes or no? Yes. Do you all agree with me? Yes. When it first opened, 100% of the books is 570 books. Okay? A year later, the number of books increased by 30%. That means from 100%, it changed to how many percent? 130%, right? Yes or no? Okay. How many books were there in the library a year later? So I know that I can have 100% at the start. And this is my 570 books. My 1% will be 570 over 100. I don't want to do a uh, calculate up because uh, getting 5.7 books is very weird number. Okay, that's the reason why I always leave it in fraction. Okay, right? So it's like, let's say a cinema has uh, 570 uh, cinema goers. Okay, right? So then you cannot find 1% of the uh, cinema goers, you see, because that will give you 5.7 person. Okay, how are you going to slice the person out into 0 0.7, right? Okay, so logically, it must make sense, huh? You all don't laugh. Next time during exam, I'll mark a question. Your person will say, how many adults are there at first? You'll put a 3.6 adult. You, I will definitely see, you all don't laugh. You all don't laugh. Okay, you don't laugh, okay? So let's get 100%. So Clarence, tell me why it's, uh, sorry. It's not, we are doing 130%. So 
so it's 570 over 100 and what do I get 741 okay so you can see when the percentage increase right the total number increase right is big a number that's bigger than 570 okay so your answer whatever answer you get it must make sense it must make sense next question the price of a watch was $115 when it was launched last year when it was launched that means when it was first first started selling okay when a new version of the watch was released this year okay it's like apple watch there's apple watch then there's apple watch 2.0 kind of thing okay yeah so the price of the earlier version of the watch decreased by 15 percent makes sense right it's what happens in real life when a new iphone come out the old iphone will drop in price okay whenever you get a new more newer version of a phone or laptop or a tablet okay the previous version will decrease in price Shirley, stop talking to ashley Shirlene, stop talking to ashley okay so the price of the earlier version of the watch decreased by 15 percent so it's a decrease huh? just now it was an increase now it's a decrease so since this is an increase do you think that the final answer is greater than 115 dollars or less than 115 dollars yes. that's right so it decreased by 15 percent so initially at the start is 100 percent yes or no correct at the start is 100 percent okay but now okay the earlier the version of the watch decreased by 15 percent so when it de decreased by 15 percent how many percent am i looking at sky who's the so we are looking at 85 percent right can you see from 100 percent i decreased by 15 percent i'm looking at 85 percent so find the price of the earlier version of the watch this year this year i'm looking at the new price so 100 percent first and i know that it's actually 115 dollars i find one percent which is 115 over 100 next i find my 85 percent because we agree that the price now is 85 percent <coughs> So 115 over 100 multiplied by 85. $97 and 75 cents. Okay, we'll stop here for today.